Hello and welcome to episode 73 of the Naked Eye podcast. This is Nathan Oxenfeld, and I'm happy to have a returning guest today. Welcome back, Barry Ocatel, to the Naked Eye podcast. Happy to have you. Hi, Nathan. Congratulations on 73. That's excellent. Yeah, and for uh, the longtime listeners, you uh, know Barry was on previously on the show in episode 33. Uh, <laughs> Four years ago now, in 2019, when he and I were actually out in California together filming our documentary, Vision 2020, From Eyesight to Insight. And so a lot has changed since then. Um, you're actually now based in the States. So um, if people want to learn a little bit more about Barry's you know, original story and, and how he got into this work, maybe check out episode 33. But for today, I kind of wanted to Get a little update from you and, and hear what you've been working on more recently and also get a chance to to share a little bit more about our upcoming 22-day vision tune-up later as well look thanks nathan i think i've learned more about eyesight in the last three years than i have the previous 30 years i've been working with eyesight wow yeah you know, like that's a big statement that yeah. you know initially when i started working with eyesight it was very much about you know technique and processes and, and what to do and I've been really fortunate in the last few years. You know, I meditate and I often have, you know, various guides and things coming in. Dr. Bates himself has actually appeared a number of times. And, you know, initially I didn't tell anyone. It was like, I'm not going to tell anyone that this happened, you know. But he was giving such amazing information that I thought, really, I have a responsibility to share this, not to yeah. sort of keep it to myself. And the wow. very first time he turned up, he said, do you want a hand? And I had a really good answer. I said, yes, please, but you need to show me something I don't know or else I'll think I'm making all this up. And he started working behind people's eyes. And in the process, it really has changed how I've worked with eyesight. You know, so many times we talk about relaxation as being important. And I sort of said that, you know, it is important to relax and meditate and do like and, and do that. I never realized how important it was. Like the process of relaxing the eyes to me is the number one thing. And a lot of times these days, I will just give people palming and sunning and not anything else and say, start with that. Like if you don't do anything else, do palming and sunning every day. Yeah, and start with that and stick with that. Stick <laughs> with that. Like, do yeah. that. And, and I also had this process where well, I, the more exercises I gave people, the less likely they were to do them. Right. Yeah. It, it just made human nature. And so I really want people to find what's the one or two exercises that you do and do them every day, you know, and and start with those. And then obviously there's other ones we can include, ones that you've come up with, ones that I've come up with. But I want people to at least start with that. Well, and that's what we see so much with with our other show, the Better Eyesight Podcast, where we go and read Dr. Bates's original writings and case histories and everything. And that's so much of what we see is that's what he's giving people is the basics, the simple palming, swinging, sunning. And, you know, obviously in more complicated cases, they can kind of drill down and get a little bit more customized and specific with it. But like, it, it keeps impressing me so much how these core things really work <laughs> so well. Exactly. exactly. We keep looking for harder ways. There's going to be a harder <laughs> way. And, and I'm finding these days it's actually the easier I go, the better results I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious also this whole, because sometimes people hear about like seeing from behind the eyes as sort of a concept or a, a technique almost people can try out because it sort of feels different than yep. than seeing from the front of the face or from the eyeballs so to speak uh, so i'm kind of intrigued about this this other way for people to connect with the space behind their eyes if, if you want to maybe touch on that a little too look i'll, I'll give an example from last weekend perfect I had, I had a fellow, I was in Las Vegas, and there was a young fellow who, uh, on his left eye, it looked like he had about three contact lenses on in order to see, like the, the multiple aspects that were sort of permanently on his eye. And he said, that's the eye he looks at. He had no vision at all in his right eye. 
Mm -hmm. And he was sort of quite jumpy sort of a person, like a bit edgy, I guess, as well. And, and I went up to him and I said, look, would you like me to work with you for 10 minutes? I could do 10 minutes. We'll bring Dr. Bates in and we'll see what happens. He said, sure. He, he was sort of like a little bit skeptical, but he said, we'll give it a go. Anyway, I got in that about five o'clock that night and I brought Dr. Bates in and Dr. Bates started working on, on his left eye, which was the one that was the best. And he said, now work on the other one. And I'm saying, well, he has to work on this eye first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, he had some improvement with that eye straight away. Like there was some improvement. And I said, his right eye with Dr. Bates worked on that and it really worked behind the eye, you know, connecting his eyes together and to the pituitary, which is where our, our intuition, our spiritual vision comes from. Mm -hmm. And I said, this will take 24 hours. He's told me 24 hours, you'll notice an improvement. And I said, I'll leave it at that. I don't know why it may or may not. Like I'm, I'm a little bit skeptical of myself sometimes. And I go, let's see what happens. I went up to him the next day and I sat beside him on his right hand side and he jumped. Hmm. And I said, what's up? And he said, I, I don't normally see anything on that side. So we went outside, I covered his left eye. I put two fingers into the sky. So that was a contrast. Mm -hmm. And I said, how many fingers do I have? And he goes two. Wow. And he started seeing for the very first time in that eye. Mm. And I just, and he was like, we're both almost in tears over this, you know, it was such a, yeah. an amazing experience. And he said to me, I didn't know what to tell you first. He said, as good as that was, the work that you did connecting my spiritual intuition side, yesterday, I didn't connect to anyone in the room. Today, I've connected with everyone. Wow. Yeah. He said he just knew what they needed, how he could support them, what he needed. He said there was just this flow that happened. He said he wished he saw me the day before the course had started because he had such a, a completely different experience. And he saw yeah. that just if not more important than what happened in terms of his physical eyesight. Yeah, I was going to kind of say that or echo that, like as impressive as the, the physical eyesight recovery potential is yeah. like i almost got almost even more chills hearing about how it seemed to affect his ability to relate to others and connect with others and and feel a sense of community that's right like to me that's that almost reminds me of actually kind of going back to when we were filming our documentary and we were filming each other ask ourselves ask each other the same question which is what is the the main cause of vision problems? Yep. And I remember you gave a one word answer, which was disconnection. And, and something about the vision work that you, you know, facilitated with, with this person helped to reconnect, which not only brought the eyesight back, <laughs> but, yeah. but then helped with actual connection with, with other people. So that, I think that's a, an amazing story that, that just happened. It's about how we connect to each other. You know, 90% yeah. of people over 50 are now wearing some sort of corrective lenses. In other words, they're covering up how we connect to each other. Mm. Mm -hmm. and not against glasses. If you need glasses, wear them. But if we don't need to wear them and we can do something about it, then have a look at the alternatives. Yeah, I mean, that hits close to home for me because I always I came to the conclusion that I really did feel like my glasses were ending up acting as a, for, a barrier for connection. It, sure. it was strange because it, it helped me see more clearly, but it made me feel less connected to what I was seeing somehow. So there was like this strange disconnect. <laughs> and then when I took my glasses off and started improving my vision naturally and actually seeing things with without that barrier, it felt like not only am I seeing it more clearly naturally, but it's a new sensation, a new connection that I'm feeling too. So interesting little thread there that, that maybe several people experience. Yeah. And, and I had the same you know, situation, you know, I, I used to wear big, long beard, glasses, you know, long hair. It was like, 
covering up so they didn't have to see the world or it see me. And mm. there's something mm. about being open, like this is who I am. This is what I do now. Yeah. And and that kind of story, well, first of all, that that's so interesting that that we can sort of use these accessories, whether it's glasses or facial hair or whatever, to kind of protect ourselves in, in one way or another. And uh and understanding that improving vision might involve modifying some of those those habits and patterns but your story of this fast change in someone's vision whether it's instant in the left eye or 24 hours in the right eye definitely reminds me so much of these stories from the clinic from the better eyesight podcasts or the magazines where people do get same day improvements or next day improvements um seemingly you know miraculous cures and things like that so it, it it's really interesting that you're talking about kind of calling in that that original Bates energy to help with people yeah I've been really honored that that's been the case you know and I, I said I said to him one day why me you know there's other people who know more about you than I do and he said you listen to me that's the difference and uh and the very first time that happened the next day when I thought oh, let's go back again you know, I was expecting this major experience what he actually made me do was to go to the library. He, he was a, a medical doctor as well. So he made me go to the library and do anatomy 101 on eyesight again mm -hmm. and actually learn because he wanted to talk to me in a language that I'm going, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, what's right. that again? And so I had to get some basic anatomy right so that he could support me. And then once I had that, he does he hardly, he hardly uses it now, but I need to have it to get that connection, I think. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Cause I remember, I mean, there was so much anatomy physiology stuff in my teacher training that I took to become certified Bates teacher. And that was like my, my, my basis, my foundation. Uh, but now that I'm starting to offer teacher trainings and, and I'm starting to teach more of the anatomy and physiology, I've been doing another kind of refresh on it. And it's amazing how it really does help, even if it doesn't come up a lot in conversation or, um, but honestly, it does come up a lot with my students where I'm really helping them learn about how their eyes work and where things are and how they function. And, and that's why it's eye education more so than just the eye exercise. Totally. Totally. And we've got a 22 day vision tune up coming. I'd love to share with people about that. I know, because that was something that you and I worked on originally this summer. We we did a 22-day vision tune-up in June 2023, where we hosted every weekday of the whole month. So it ended up being 22 classes total, and they were super short, you know, between 15 and 20 minutes long. Yeah, they, and, weren't uh, short, they were just so powerful. Like, that's what I yeah. like. Like when we said, let's do it again, What we the material we had in there was absolutely, I thought, perfect for a 15 minute segment day. Like I really love that we did that. Yeah, and I was at first part of me was like can some can something even happen in in such a short time or with such, you know, condensed classes, but I was very impressed by the group of people who came, the 50 or 60 students who who went through the process with us where it wasn't even by the end of the month, it was by the end of the first week the second yeah. week that people were already seeing changes, feeling changes. And it really just kind of affirmed this gut feeling that I had that this format seems to really work for people, especially people who are kind of busy and are like, well, I don't really have a lot of time <laughs> to, to devote to this, but this really can work with just these short little lessons. Yep. Totally. And what we're doing this time is a little bit different because we're keeping those little short videos and people will have access to those throughout the day. In other words, you'll have 24 hours to find the time for you to fit 15 minutes in. Yeah. And then at the end of the week, we're going to do a live Q&A where we get to answer your questions, go in a little bit deeper, and you actually get those bonuses of us having us together live at the end of each week. Yeah. So some people will be watching it first thing in the morning to start their day. Some people fit it in on their lunch break during work. Some people watch it when they're relaxing at night. And then at the end of the week, we're going to see come together live and say, hey, how was your week? What was going on with the practices? What kind of questions are coming up? So that, that's what I'm really excited about, too, is is giving that that face to face coaching and, and support in that way as well. Yeah, 
And that yeah. actually starts the beginning of November. It's every weekday. And so you get the weekends off to sort of integrate what you learn during the week. And it's something that you know, we know we're going to have a lot of people at because last time we literally just put it out and 60 people sign up straight away. So, you know, we're really looking forward to helping as many people improve their physical eyesight and a little bit of their insight during this time. And and like I was just going to say that too, Barry, of it starts on November 1st, goes to November 30th, which goes right through the Thanksgiving holidays here in the States. And so that might be kind of on some people's mind of like, well, this is like a really busy time of year. I can't fit this in right now. But that was actually part of our intention is we we wanted to put it in a kind of a busier time of the year to actually prove to you or to help you prove to yourself that you can fit this in. It It is not difficult to integrate, even if you're traveling, even if you, you know, visiting with family, it's, it's, you know, that's one of the kind of lessons we wanted to instill in putting it right in November as well. Yeah. You know, we look after, you know, we clean our teeth every day. Yeah. You know, this is about learning to, to have some habits, look after our eyes every day. Yeah. It's not like, you know, people are like, Oh, I got to travel and see family for Thanksgiving. So I'm not going to brush my teeth for a week. So. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, and, um, and since Barry and I um, have worked, we work together on this 22 day vision tune up. The way we set it up is alternating days, which is really fun. Where uh, one day I'm teaching the class, the next day Barry's teaching it, next day. So we keep flip flopping back and forth. It's a really nice kind of balance. Um, and that was sort of the feedback we got from some of the people. They they really liked getting the the combination of our teachings um, all put together in one. And the people that sign up, we've got a couple of bonuses. Like we're going to allow people to keep the movie, the Vision 2020 movie, as well as some really key interviews that go with it. And there's also a, a program Nathan and I did in Australia called Computer Eyes, which is designed to look after your eyes while you're at the computer, and particularly for children. So if you've got children or young people, it was to support their natural eye health care. I, I honestly feel like the the first 22 day vision tune-up we did in june was was kind of a highlight of my year in 2023 to i guess i guess that was something that i was like thinking about wanting to do for quite some time and to finally make it happen with you was so much fun so can't wait to do a, a repeat this november and and hey i imagine that this could be something that we we offer moving forwards on, on somewhat of an ongoing yeah, basis. So. We, we definitely will do it again. And, and we're letting people know that when people repeat, we've actually you know given a, something like about a 90% reduction for people who are repeating. So, you know, certainly it'd be not one of those things that I'll wait to next time. You're better off doing it now. And if you want to do it again in six months time when we do it, it will only be about 10% of what the cost is. So we really encourage people to act now the people who say I'll do it next time never do it. That's just the reality of it. So this is your time to look after your eyes. Yeah, I kind of I, I'm really excited to participate in it as well. I know you've mentioned that too, Barry, and I feel like it's going to be an awesome way to kind of start to wrap the year up and and begin to look ahead into 2024. And and I I kind of love talking about vision beyond just how well you read an eye chart and more about how you can sort of visualize your life and your future and everything like that. So I love that, that both you and I kind of branch far beyond just the eyeballs and the, in the vision practices. And we, we really take it to a different level. Um, so I really appreciate how you really emphasize that in your approach. So excited for people to learn more by going through the 22 day tune up. And uh, if once again, if you haven't listened to uh, Barry and I's first interview, you can always go back, check that episode out. And uh, we're going to be doing our documentary screening as well ahead of the tune up. So if you haven't seen our film yet, definitely recommend that. Um, and if you miss that, you can always rent or purchase the film on our website as well. So. So really looking forward. Thanks for having me on today. I've really enjoyed just being with you. I'm really looking forward to going down this journey yet again. It'll be interesting how it goes the second time around. I had so much fun the first time. Always have fun working with you, Nathan, and I know we're going to have fun with this one as well. 
Yeah, happy to have you back today. Appreciate uh, having a quick little check in with you and an update and just super excited about the, the impact you're having on people's lives and honored to work with you and continue doing the same. So thank you, Barry. And thank you, everybody, for listening. We'll see you again next time. Bye, bro.